Hey, and welcome to the Dr. Gratitude official channel. I'm so grateful you have made it here. And if this is your first time tuning in, hello and welcome to this amazing channel. Please take the time to like and subscribe to follow along to all the daily episodes that I will be bringing you. My mission and my goal in life is to have an attitude of gratitude. And I want to spread that worldwide so people can have life satisfaction, optimism, love, hope, peace, and of course, gratitude, because that's what I'm here for. I'm taking people on a massive journey from day one to day 365 days of thankfulness to transform your world. Each episode, I go through a daily challenge, something published in my journal, and also a personalized journal entry that I've been doing now for three years because gratitude is the best attitude. Let's get into the daily challenge today. So I wanted to talk about the gratitude love language. Now there's five love languages that are out there. You have acts of service, affirmations, physical touch, quality time, and I always pick up the last one, oh my gosh. Words of affirmation, I think. Hold on, I think I'm forgetting one. If I have forgotten one, I'll put it in the comments below. But anyways, the gratitude love language is a great one. It's the sixth one. And it helps with deepening those relationships all around you. If you have a partner, it's shown to strengthen and bring more love and more connectedness to your relationships. It also goes beyond just saying words. It's also a feeling and emotion. Those small little acts of appreciation and gratitude lead to bigger things within your relationships. And it's not just your partner. You can do this with siblings. You can do this with your partner. Well, obviously your partner. That's what I've been talking about. Your family members, your child, whoever that may be, strengthen those relationships all around you. And the more stronger the relationship, the more resilience the relationship will have, and you're committed to each other to have the best relationship ever. On top of that, it also helps with getting through those challenging times because you're bringing gratitude into those challenging times, in those times of darkness, in those times of confrontation, and the gratitude will make that flip and that switch over. I've interviewed many people across the world on this, and this is one thing I know that some of my clients and some of my friends do. When they come home, they get in the door and they do their acts of gratitude to each other before settling into the household and doing the day-to-day -day tasks that need to be done. All right, guys, I hope you love that, okay? So gratitude, love language, the sixth one, okay, guys? This is my beautiful journal, Dear God, with gratitude, 365 days of thankfulness to transform your world. Day 153. Dear God, I am grateful for negative emotions. Thank you, God. As I look at today's gratitude entry, I've come to realize negative emotions are okay. They are a way to process emotions and what I will and will not tolerate. I also realized to be loved is a two-way exchange and reminded that when hurt express, hurt express, not suppress and release, my negative emotions will be released. So guys, this brings us to the end of the episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so now. If you'd like to like, comment, share feedback, private message me, email me, I will respond to you. But before we go, remember, gratitude is the best attitude. Peace out.